2020 Toyota Camry. <clears throat> I just put about 700 miles on it. Did a road trip. 765 miles on the odometer. I just want to share some issues that I'm having with the car and I thought I'd document it on the on the video and share it with you guys. Um, so this one here is a 2020 Camry that I bought fresh off the line with only two miles on the clock. Ever since I, I picked up the car I noticed uh, the steering wheel was kind of off center. Like if I'm headed straight on the road it's going to be crooked like this. Right, just like that and I brought it in straight to the alignment and they gave me the results saying that everything is okay I have the results in the back right there they you know, they showed me the before and after alignment and the car does not pull it it does track really straight I mean I can go on the highway let it go it's gonna go straight for a really long time but the only thing is the steering is gonna be crooked like this if I'm on the left side of the highway, as you know, there's a crown. So if I'm on the left side of the highway, the steering will almost be straight. Just like that. Because I'm trying to fight with the crown. Now, if I'm on the middle lane or the right lane, it's crooked. Just like that. If the road is straight, it's, it's going to be crooked. And I know there is an issue with this. Uh, I had a 2018 Camry. That didn't have the alignment issue, but it had other issues too. So that's uh, kind of disappointed with that. And uh, I took a little bit of a trip here. I came up to Alabama here. I drove the car a little bit. And I can fully confirm that there that is an issue. So this is my first concern though, the off-center steering wheel. Um, I drove a rental 2020 RAV4, as you can see on that video. That had the same issue too. The steering wheel was a little bit off-center. The dealership was telling me that there is no issue with the alignment. The alignment checks out. Everything is good. But um, I'm not crazy and you know, I see there is an issue. It, it is kind of like that and that's really, really frustrating if you buy a new car. So almost $31,000 car SE. This is has the premium package and everything. and Rear cross traffic alert, blinds, everything. So it's loaded up. It's $28,000 plus some additional packages rings you up to $31,000 and it's kind of unacceptable to have issues like that. And then my second, this is my first issue and I have another issue too. This passenger seat right here, this one right here, it has a problem with the reclining. It's stuck and when you push the, when you push the, when you pull the lever, it should automatically move back and forth and you should be able to do it but you have to really use your force and try to move it yourself which is i've never seen it like i mean my 2018 camry was also manual reclining it just has a hard time um, let me see if i can show you that exactly so Right here is the front passenger seat. This is for the height adjustment, which works, puts it up and down. This is the one that I have a problem with. When you push it, you see it comes back up like that. And then, even when you push it hard, it doesn't go down. You have to really work with that to make it go down. It feels like it's stuck, even though you put as much weight as you want on it. And it's and then sometimes if you recline all the way back, it's not gonna get back up either. It's just gonna have a really hard time. Um, so this is my yes, yeah, so I've had the 18 Camry that doesn't have any issues with the reclining. It goes back and forth pretty easily. This one has a problem. My wife noticed the same thing with that. Other than that, the car does ride very smooth. Uh, for being an SE, it's fairly goes smoothly down the road. A little bit more quieter than my my 2018 model. Probably more sound dampening on this one here. But this alignment thing is one of the most annoying things that I can pinpoint in a car. I'm very, very... I want things to be very particular. I don't want any issues. So this alignment being like that, it's very... Uh, you know, it drives me nuts. 
the other car, the, the 2018 car, had, I had it till about 60,000 miles, the alignment tracked straight. It didn't have any problems. Sometimes it did a little pull to the right, but I, I, that didn't bother me as much. This is really annoying. I don't like that, especially in a new car with 765 miles on it. No, so I, I talked to my service advisor. We're going to take it in again, see what they can do. I want I want this problem resolved, you know, this is ridiculous. And then the other Camry that I had, the 2018 Camry had issues, uh, you know, with the wheel bearing and a couple of uh, warranty repairs like that. You know, premature brake wear, and I feel like that's just... These, you know, Toyotas are good cars, but they're not making... They're not making them like they used to, that's for sure. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys like my rant. Um, if you have any concerns or questions or whatever, please comment below. Thank you very much. Have a good one, guys.